Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here. Today we're going to be doing a review on something I've literally been looking at for several years now. And that is the Twin Needle Mini Map Pack. Mini Modular Assault Pack, Mini whatever you want to call it pack. And this is a product of New Zealand, interestingly enough. Never been to New Zealand, but hey, interesting. I'm down. As you can see here, I have my Coyote Brown one already mounted up here and stuff. And one of the main things I noticed when I first saw this pack is that practically no pictures really exist about it. It's on OP Tactical's Facebook page and website and stuff, but with these same old pictures of it being mounted to a plate carrier. So, what's actually inside it? How does it work? How does all that cool stuff happen? So, I've got my Warrior Assault Systems pack, and this is a pretty high quality modular assault pack, not a mini, that I've really, really enjoyed using, so we'll use this one for kind of a compare and contrast. So, first off, this one has no straps to make it into a backpack. It is only the Molly setup to be attached directly to a plate carrier, and to a plate carrier only. One of the main things you might notice is, unlike the Warrior Assault Systems, there's no little uh, clasp buckles to hold the, um, cinching down straps in place, so those are kind of free whirling, they can loop around to the back, which shouldn't be a problem, but when you unclasp them, they're bound to go whichever way they desire, so here we have our multicam pack, which costs extra because multicam material is not cheap. Stitching's decent. The first thing I noticed, however, is that the zippers here, good. the clips aren't bad. The buckles are pretty solid, I don't think. They're definitely not garbage plastic grade, but I don't think they're up to the uh, specs of I'm generally used to, so. This first is that to take note of, so not the best the zippers also. One of the other things you might notice immediately is if you've played with zippers for a really long time is that they're not YKK. YKK being your Japanese company that started up after the war that eventually became the de facto, like, basically zipper gods over time. So they're not YKK zippers. Okay, so they're not as smooth, but so far they seem to be functional. Will they explode with a heavy load? <laughs> Time will tell. We got a... Uh, first thing I noticed is there's um, double-sided Velcro here, so you can mount in any hydration source you want. You could fold one over and then loop the other one over on top of that, or whatever you may so desire. Now, immediately you'll notice there's this little mesh covering here. This mesh covering is so you can slip your camel back. I think it holds it to two liters. I'd probably keep it down to one, one and a half to be safe, but you got your little camel back holder here. And one of the most interesting things I noticed, if you ever played with uh, actual cry precision combat pants, is that they like to have this little elastic band in the cargo pockets so you can keep uh, water bottles or spare mags or something crazy like that. This has one giant elastic band <laughs> that goes over the camel bag, so it helps singe everything closer to the back. And that is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely, I immediately forgot about the zipper thing because I saw that and I was like, that is brilliant because if you are among my fellow HPA boys, then you can take this big ass tank here, because good sir, I like some thick. That goes right in, you can put it either inside the hydration portion or not, but that elastic band is going to give you the extra support and security you need when this is attached to a camelback to keep it from bouncing around or doing anything crazy. And also you'll notice it sits at just the right height that you can even poke it outside one of these hydration slats on the sides if you so desire to avoid using the zippers and stuff. So that's the main thing I need the assault, I need the mini map to even begin with for. So. That's cool, and outside of that, the rest of the pack is just, well, kind of a pack. There's not really anything else inside there. It's your general modular assault pack setup. So, cool. Now the secondary portion here, we've got all these tags and stuff. Let you know it's authentic twin needle. Actually, <gasps> that's a sticker. Oh. Dude, that's going on the, yeah, that's going on the slaps. Probably the scooter helmet. But yeah, so we pop this open here to get to your mini axis, your smaller point. Yeah, it's roughly your average MRE size, maybe a bit smaller, but if you're smart, you're before you get into the field anyway, you're popping open your MRE, you're taking out all the useful stuff, throwing away the excess garbage, and you're just gonna pack that all in here. Now, 
This is really standard as far as your assault pack setups tend to go. There's no extra pockets or anything here. It's just your standard little strap. Now the reason I want to compare this to Warrior Assault Systems, which does have YKK zippers, and I think the, yeah, this one actually has, um, was it the flex buckles? Side squeeze. Aren't these made in the USA? I want to say these are USA made buckles. I can't say for sure. But these have YPK zippers, as you can see, incredibly smooth. But this one also has a little setup of uh, pockets for many smaller accessories and stuff, which is usually what you're going to keep in here outside of MREs. So, it's not something you really require in a pack like this, but it's one of those things that's nice to have. It's absent, so anything you're going to be putting in here, you're probably going to want to put into smaller pouches or pockets or Ziploc baggies. Anything of that nature. You can probably keep extra batteries. I mean, whatever you're going to carry in your assault pack is what you're going to be taking out with you to airsoft or out into the field. So, packable rainproof jacket, maybe some uh, packable waterproof pants, stuff of that nature. So, as you can see, we have slightly less molly back here because it's designed to only take up the six places on a play carrier. That's actually really comfy. That rattle you're hearing, by the way, that's just the batteries I have on there for... Well, right now, just the hell of it. I really don't need to swap out any batteries. Those will probably come off. I'll probably throw another sexy, sexy patch on there. So, yeah, as you can see, let's continue moving on. So, there's the double side elastic tape again. There's the, you can see the little slots here. They're not particularly fancy. They're not sewn shut either. It's just like the exposed material. So that's probably going to start fraying, would be my first guess. The covers here are elastic and they are stitched on to both sides in a little um, double pattern, so that's nice. That's going to give it a bit more durability. See how long those will last. And you have three access points, two sides, one on the top. As for your your Velcro Molly sort of setup here, you have a top, bottom, middle's just straight up. Then you've also got this extra row of webbing here because why the hell not, apparently. It's my guess. And yeah, you've got your Elastic band covers here for the cinches so you can keep everything secure. New Zealand made twin needle mark right here, and as you see, you've got authentic multi cam material matches all around the place. So, multi cam everywhere. So, yeah, these things run you, I think it's like close to 120. I think it's an extra 35 or something for the multi cam. So, options there. We went ahead, we got a few extras because. I have friends who like to play airsoft out here who would most certainly be interested in getting some decent mo mini maps because in Japan, the only real mini maps you have are going to be TMC, and those are like 20, 30 bucks. I don't even think it is really cheap. Well, yeah, material quality and stitching, super sketch. Like the minute you put anything with any weight in it, you're going to rip out the bottom. It's going to be a bad time. So you go to the bottom, you got your standard little loopy dupes down here for attaching something. I'm not sure. I mean, you could probably attach something. But I'm not entirely sure what they're for, actually. It's one of those things I feel like I should know, but um, hey, I don't. Intelligence gap. We'll fill that at some point. I'm sure someone in the comments will probably already know. like, good sir, night, it's for da na na And I appreciate it. Oh, backside. Another important thing. So this is just your simple little material. No backing reinforcement or anything super stiff. And the attachment kind of follows the train of thought of the Blue Force Gear Warrior Assault Systems. Yeah, there's a little loop through there too, cool, but it's got a little tab. So you weave it on through, you got the double end here, comes through the bottom, and then you loop it on back through. Actually, you can't even see it on the camera, you loop it on back through, and it'll hold itself secure from there. So yeah, good stuff, my fellow Gucci members, something something, Gucci gang, but tactical. So yeah, you've got some cool stuff there, cool stickers, cool little things, and yeah, so that's pretty much what this mini map pack actually does. Zipper quality is alright, elastic covers are pretty nice, and as you can see it does properly not hang out down past your play carrier, which is the ultimate goal to have with your mini, assault, mini map pack. So, I've got a new magazine pouches on the way. But yeah, so you can see, fits comfy. Mine doesn't have anything in it because all I'm going to really carry is a tank and I don't know, maybe some fatty chocolate bars, some uh, gummy bears, you know, stuff you take with you to go do things.
Go places. Bam, 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 bam. Turtle power. So yeah, actually. Green? Hard outer... Ah. The goods are nice, a turtle. It just occurred to me. It's painful. Maybe... Maybe there is a reason to wear camouflage patterns for <laughs> your uniform and not... Damn it! I don't want to have the revelation I'm a turtle right now. I'm not happy with this revelation. I'm actually kind of sad. This is ruining my review. <laughs> Christmas is cancelled. Oh, and there's also the black version here. <laughs> Just keep moving before I have an emotional breakdown of some sort. Yeah, there's the undercover. Yeah, black for all you slot guys and SEAL fans. And they all look same. Elastic and uh, oh, and also one of the things I forgot to mention on the sides here, you still have your standard little like magazine size one two three, double double setup, to patch attached magazines or flexi cuffs or any of those other cool things. Probably more visible here. Yeah, to attach all of your other extra cool things to on the side, and most importantly, what I'd argue if nothing else. To hold these little, hold this top strap or the bottom strap here in place so it doesn't run away on you when you don't want it to. So yeah, cool stuff. If you're, if you, I, I think it's cool. If you think it's cool, then hey, pretty awesome. I know there's other companies that make mini maps, albeit closer for like three hundred some odd dollars. Although they do look like good stuff. So that is, I don't want to stand backwards to you guys the whole day, but that is all they have, or that's what they do. That's the thing. It is how it be. Fam. Lit 100. And yeah, so cool little packs. I'm actually pretty excited to field these. And we will see in the very near future if they hold up. Or oh, actually, I'm pretty sure. I gave it the Marine Test. If you don't know what the Marine Test is, it's, it's a bullshit I made up. It doesn't actually exist. I'm totally pulling your leg. But you basically take some of the stitching. What I do anyway. Give it a solid little yank. Because your uh, Condor stuff, if you do little yanks and stuff to them. Fun f oh yeah, actually, you can see that stitching right there, even on these single ones. It's not just a single that 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 that's more of a once, twice over, and then across the sides to give it more support, so. Good job to you, Twin Needle. There's a, there's a compliment I give to you. And yeah, so basically what I like to do when I get packs, so I give them a good tug everywhere to make sure that they're not gonna rip open at the seams, because Condor gear, I know there's people who will defend Condor to the death, but you give it tugs like that, and fun fact, it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it at all. This this is actually pretty solidly made, and that's me talking about something that's not made in America, which is a pretty rare thing for me to be complimenting. I'm very much a big fan of my America gear, but yeah. Pretty happy with this. Pretty glad with how it looks. Material's a little rough, but it's Condora, so. I've rambled on for quite a while. Hope I'm answering any and all questions you've had about it, because I've been looking at this for literally, like, years now, and it's interesting to see what it does, how it do, how it be. And yeah, so, so far, I am pretty impressed. I'm interested. It definitely has my attention. We'll see how this holds up. But so far, so good. Genetically engineered cat girls for domestic ownership. There's no other reason to lead a coup. And to cut end this video, carry an MRA spoon. Because nine times out of ten, it's actually deadlier than a knife. Don't believe me. You can ask a few Marines I know. So, that's my video for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope that. This fills a lot of those intelligence gaps that you guys may have also had if you've seen these packs. If you didn't know they exist, well, hey, good news. And you filled an intelligence gap you didn't know even existed. So yeah, cool packs. Durable. I do like warrior assault systems. Don't get me wrong. I'm not bashing this pack in any way, shape, or form. I do like the fact this is really nice straps and attachment systems. It's just a shame that warrior assault systems, to my knowledge, I'm getting smart at this YouTube thing. To my knowledge, does not make a mini map pack, although you can also pull this up through here. You can ghetto yourself a mini map pack of fantastic quality. So, cheers everyone. Stay chill for us. Hope this video was good for you. It was good for me.
And I'm going to go drink an ass ton of coffee. So cheers, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.